So Sony has released their financial highlights, so let's get to it. I'm gonna read some of it here. The latest PlayStation console has now reached 54.8 million units sold since its November 2020 launch, having sold 8.2 million units in the last quarter. Sony had an incredibly ambitious target of 25 million PS5 units sold throughout its physical year 2023, and it has now been forced to revise this forecast down to 21 million units. The new forecast also consequently predicts a 5% downward revision for the full year revenue. All right, let's keep on scrolling now because this right here is the most important part of this article. Sony revealed that there won't be any major franchise PS5 games released in the next fiscal year from April 2024 to March 2025. Now, a lot of people would probably stop reading here, then make, you know, a console war tweet, and just basically say that there's gonna be no PlayStation 5 games until April 2025. There's gonna be no PlayStation 5 games for about almost a year. So, yeah, the company is likely referring to first party releases only as most of their internal studios are likely to are likely too early in development to launch something within a year or so. So, let's read this part. Of course, that doesn't mean no first party PS5 games will release in Sony's physical year 2024. The company was just commenting on big existing franchises. New IP could still launch within that time frame. Haven's Fair Game and Firewalks Concord are two such candidates. So let's read the last part here, you know, particularly this. A drastic price cut likely isn't coming. Ooh. ooh. Oh, 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 will the PlayStation 6 cost $600? That's what my thoughts is when reading that last part right there. But for everything else, I mean, there's still probably going to be, you know, some first party stuff, you know, in the way of new IPs for the PlayStation 5. There's gonna be second party exclusives and third party timed exclusive. And the third party support is just going to keep coming and coming and coming and coming. Nothing more, nothing less, because let's be honest here, the place to play third party games at this point for most people is that PlayStation 5. None more, none less. And that won't stop for the rest of this generation. And that PS5 Pro though, <laughs> how much is it going to cost? I mean, without a disk drive, will it be, you know, 550 and 600 with the disk drive? Because that's what I'm thinking at this point. But yeah, how do you guys feel about all this stuff that I've discussed? All this stuff that I have read to you? Let me know in the comment section below of this YouTube video. This is Laybon Kaysen, signing out in peace, and thank you guys for watching.